So you've heard me pass on the benefits of cold exposure many times. Today I thought I'd pass on some tips uh, on how to take the cold shower. And feel free to do this after your warm shower, okay, there's no rules. Uh, you can also start with 10 seconds, okay, I'll be in here a little bit longer just to show you what to look for, okay, but start at 10 seconds and work your way up. Now, what am I feeling right now, okay, what are my thoughts? I don't really want to do it, okay, I know what I'm in for, I'm about to step into cold water. Um, my breath is shallow, right, it's up here, it's short, my heart's beating faster, uh, so I'm, you know, I'm in a little bit of panic and I, you know, I have consistency behind me, I have experience. So I know when I'm feeling like this or when I'm about to engage in cold exposure to tell myself to focus, okay? And having trained myself this way, as soon as I hear the word focus, I start, uh, I bring my awareness to the breath, okay, those long exhales to start calming my heartbeat and my whole body re relaxes. Okay, so what I like to do is I put my feet in first. This starts the process of peripheral vasoconstriction, okay, which will make it a little bit easier. Alright, now in I go. People always say to me that they hate the cold shower and they'd prefer to get into the ice bath. And I agree. The reason that is, is because we have thermoreceptors, okay, thermometers located inside and outside of our body. Um, and they're continuously signaling. So when the temperature is below 17 degrees, it's signaling that receptor, okay? And in the front here, I'm obviously warmer. So it's signaling another. So it's uncomfortable. You know, they have different patterns of reaction. Now these cold receptors are linked to our pain receptors. Okay, our pain receptors that are also located all over our body. And pain receptors actually have a volume knob. Okay, so hence um, we can we can increase our pain threshold. Okay, pain is highly influential. Now these thermo and pain receptors. Um, are linked to our immune system, okay? They link to our nervous system, our hormonal system, okay? It, they change the blood flow within our body. So what am I looking for now in the cold shower? Now I'm looking for my body to calm down, the shift in my nervous system, to go from that fight flight sympathetic response into the parasympathetic where I'm quite calm and I can hang here a bit longer. And that's it, done. Now I hope that helped out a little bit. Uh, all the best with your cold exposure practices.